What more can you tell me about the Wicked Vale, Nadia? My people stay far away from that place. They have for centuries. When the Soviets were here, they tried to build an outpost in the Vale. But they angered Baba Yaga, and she drove them all mad. Grandpa <coughs> told me all about her. She lives in a magic house that can walk with the legs of a bird. Do you believe all that? The house with the bird legs? I trust Grandpa. He was in the Gulag when the Soviets took my grandmother into the Vale to help them study the ruins. The witch killed her, and he's never forgotten that. But a witch straight out of a Russian folktale? It sounds unlikely. I'm picking up a transmission. You need to hear this. get to the bottom of it. the old temple. Head down to the wooden walkway along the cliff. There should be a rope leading to it. That path will take you straight to the veil. Without this place, this divine sculpture of wind and rock, we would have been lost. The story of the scout who found this place is well known to us all, but most of you do not know how close we came to dying. We were lost in the mountains, no food, no hope. We had begun to doubt the prophet himself, but the scout heard the sound and took it to be a sign. He alone ascended these cliffs, drawn by the music, and from there, he saw our salvation. This is not just a shrine to him and his bravery, but to the strength of our faith. There. 
Damn. The Count Wait is stuck. I've got to get through that door. They say you never forget the first time you hear the sound. My parents took me here to contemplate the mysteries from beyond the shrine. In time, I will bring my children here. They say that without the music of the mountains, our ancestors would have wandered the earth until they died. But instead, these mountains called them home, just as it calls to me. Should be able to connect that counterweight to the winch. Maybe I could swing it, somehow. Maybe I could swing it, somehow. somehow.
Maybe I could swing it. Somehow. Maybe I could swing it. Somehow. Shrine. Pilgrims came here to show their respect.
of meditations on willpower. Ceremonial cloth worn by priests during Mass. Are you still on the path to the veil? No, but I'll head back and look soon. Just take the wooden path along the cliff. It'll lead you right there.
This must have been a sensor to burn incense in, but it's been modified. Sounds like Grandpa made it that far, at least. You're almost into the veil. I think I found your wicked veil. I don't know if it's Baba Yaga, but there's something out here. Be careful. This is her land. Nadia, my granddaughter. By now you already know. I am going into the veil. To kill the witch, Baba Yaga. I have gone to seek revenge for your grandmother. There are newcomers in our valley. Armed men arriving in helicopters. I do not know what they want, but I know, if I am to go, this is my last chance. You deserve to know the truth, to know why. Your grandpa is not a wise man. I have become, with hard work, a good man, for your grandmother's sake. But it was not always so. I came from the west, where even a small village has thousands of inhabitants. I was a lazy young man. And I dreamed of an easy life when I joined the party. A comfortable desk in a big city. But they sent me here, to the ends of the earth. 
to watch men and women work and starve and die, to participate in their punishment. I knew it was evil, but I did not know how to fight until I met her. Initial contact was made with the elderly native male at 0700. At first, we believed he was participating in an assault on the facility, but he proceeded away and through an unmapped canyon. We received authorization to pursue at a distance, and already we've encountered ruins and other promising signs. We're trying to keep calm out here, but this looks like a big find. That discovery bonus is as good as ours.
Keep moving. <laughs> Lara, Lara. Dad? No, it can't be. No, wait. I'm close, Lara. I'm close, Lara. I'm close. Wait, where am I? How far does this path go? It's not real. Not him. Dad, stop! Please don't! God, no! Got to get out of here! There is a truth behind it all. Behind it all. I think I was hallucinating. God, I hope I was. Hallucinating? There... There is a flower in a valley that can bring on visions, but the effects are too weak. Any idea what this place is? I see ducks and pipes. Soviet from the looks of it. 
It has to be the outpost the Soviets built to study the ruins. My grandmother was a scholar and they brought her here to help with her research, but that was the last time Grandpa ever saw her. There was only one survivor, an officer who stumbled out a few weeks later. He said the witch made them do things. Someone's been in here, recently, building on top of the ruins. What do you see? Some sort of makeshift distillery. It smells just like the flowers. Shit. Of course. She's refining the pollen, weaponizing it. There's no magic here, Nadia, just someone very clever. Wait, but if it is just a person, then wouldn't the pollen affect her too? If she can resist it somehow, then so can we. They took her from me on the surgeon's table. I tried to fight, but they are many, and I am weary. Then they dragged me away, split our three hearts apart. They have taken me to a hidden vale where ancient ruins stand. They tell me if I cooperate, I will see my family again. I will never trust these monsters, but I do not have a better plan. There are curious flowers here. Exposure to the pollen has left my captors rattled, and they will go no further than our little outpost. They brought me here in the hopes that my expertise in botany would help them find a counteragent. <laughs> At last, the state has a use for me. I nod and smile. I play the part. But they cannot break me again. For my daughter. For Ivan. I will live. It's been weeks since these bastards dragged me from the Gulag, from Ivan and my daughter, to this strange veil. They have tasked me with finding some way of counteracting the unusual effects of the pollen that hangs in the air. Now I believe I have a formula that may work. An extract from the seed pods of the plant. The liver of animals that consume the flowers and have metabolized the toxins. A phenothiazine derivative. The last ingredient is a risk. They have it in large quantities around the Gulag, where it is used as an insecticide. It may also act as a rudimentary antipsychotic, bearing a chemical similarity to other compounds I have studied. Or it may be poisonous. I will try the mixture on myself tonight. I found something. One of the prisoners wrote down a formula that might counteract the effects of the pollen. It has to be for my grandmother. 
The witch killed her, and now she's gonna help save Grandpa, just like in one of his stories. Uh, Nadia. Have faith, Lara. Hop back to the Soviet installation where we met. I'll help you find what you need. the wicked veil looking for Nadia's grandfather. I barely escaped with my life. It was like a fairy tale but through a broken, filthy mirror. And Dad, I know intellectually it was all in my mind, but the gunshot is still ringing in my ears. There's something terrible going on in there, and while I don't believe that it is magic, it is...